Good afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Thursday, 22nd of Feb 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Please download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in order to uh, uh, calculate or, shall we say, to understand the market movements on the last 24 hours, really, the crux of the matter is understanding the FOMC minutes. Basically, the uh, uh, in layman's terms and in a brief summary, summation, uh, basically it means that uh, the hawkish rhetoric certainly increased given the inflation outlook, etc. And that spook market sent yields higher, which in turn obviously dictates interest rates on the bond yields. Bond prices falling, yields move higher. Obviously, given the fact that the situation in America right now, we've got uh, hawkish, well, basically end of uh, QE, uh, reigning in uh, monetary policy. Certainly tightening policy there, adding the fact that there's a fiscal stimulus as well, which in turn is taking on more debt, rising rates, more debt, given the fact that the uh, infrastructure spending bill certainly will not be uh, fiscally neutral. Uh, and that certainly raises concerns with regards to American debt going forward. We've already had Chinese this year uh, reiterating that uh, they are going to reduce their exposure to uh, US debt. And that certainly adds uh, to the fear that uh, yields are going to be spiking, interest rates are going to be rising. And the whole situation can certainly blow out of control, especially given the uh, the amount of uh, debt the Americans are coming into. Especially given the fact that you have an, uh, an imbecile, a moron, an idiot, uh, an incompetent buffoon running the uh, American, uh, uh, or attempting from the American economy, given his fiscal stimulus and infrastructure spending, especially when you are attempting to tighten policy as well. Really, the fiscal stimulus should certainly have been a, a potential bullet that could have been fired to prevent any meltdown in the stock market. And that certainly hasn't been the case. Now, I'm not going to go into that. There's a lot of uh, arguments for and against in terms of fundamentals for fiscal and monetary uh, stimulus. OK, and, and obviously the negative side effects as well. And we're certainly seeing that with the 10% collapse in the uh, stock market, a sudden collapse. I mean, we could get a sudden 50% collapse in the market. That certainly, uh, that certainly isn't out of the uh, out, out of, uh, of, of obviously plausibility. So again, from uh, from our perspective, you've had a hike in yields, hike in rates. So I expect great great hike expectations, which in turn hurts the business cycle, which in turn hurts equity markets, etc., etc. And the situation certainly deteriorates. We also had weaker economic data from Germany, from uh, Europe yesterday as well, and that certainly obviously uh, had an impact as well. Okay, so that's the status quo. Uh, U.S. markets certainly being hammered overnight. Asian markets certainly coming under pressure too. The Chinese markets certainly came back online. Uh, the Nikkei certainly are uh, potentially weaker as well. In terms of economic numbers this morning, in terms of fundamentals, okay, you've got the uh, uh, CPI, CPI data out of uh, France, more or less coming in line. Uh, we have Mr. Kashkari and uh, basically uh, Quall speaking. Mr. Bullard certainly taming the uh, or finding the flames to a large extent, certainly put dows in the flames, should I say, and dows in the fire of the hawkish rhetoric yesterday. Uh, IFO data from Germany certainly came in weaker than expected. That certainly had a negative effect as well. UK GDP numbers certainly coming in weaker. Yesterday's employment data certainly came in weaker as well. And that's actually positive for the FTSE, uh, having said that, though, bear that in mind. It's actually positive because. It reduces the hawkish stance from the BOE, which in turn obviously means lower rates and therefore FTSE 100 certainly benefits from that perspective Okay, and helps the economy. Okay, so that certainly is the status quo in terms of uh, technicals or should we say fundamentals. Let's look at technicals now and see where we stand. Now looking at the German DAX first and foremost, okay, daily chart of the German DAX at the moment certainly has sold off initially. You've got a bottoming tail there, certainly bouncing off very, sh uh, very uh, sharply there. 60-minute chart, we've bounced off that pillar low at uh, 12285, so very impressive. Let's see if that can continue and we can sustain it from there. 10-minute chart at the moment, certainly coming back into resistance now, back into that key resistance zone. Obviously, we bounced off that pillar low at 12285. Okay, so the German DAX at the moment certainly is currently is under pressure at the moment. So again, looking to potentially go into risk-off mode. Uh, looking to potentially retest that uh, pivot low there, seen at 12.280. Okay, so German DAX certainly under some pressure at this moment. Now, can we close the gap above? It's going to be very hard given the narrative overnight, so certainly looking for risk off at the moment. Let's see if this uh, can continue, so keep an eye on that in terms of the next moves there. German DAX certainly uh, thrusting. Again, the base is being built, though, bear in mind, so we do visit at 12.300 level again, so you're looking to potentially push higher. In terms of the French CAC, then let's move on to the French CAC again. The French CAC certainly building a base here, as we can see. Okay, base being built at 5,250, certainly defending that potential zone. So let's see if that can continue. Uh, daily chart as well on the French CAC. Again, we're certainly uh, facing up to resistance at 50%. 
Given the narrative overnight, the French CAC certainly has shown some strength. Also, given the fact that we had weaker data as well from France this morning. So, again, bear that in mind. Still attempting to close that gap at 5.365. 10 minute chart at the moment certainly looks exhausted now. We're certainly into that double top scenario. Looking for risk aversion there as well. So, watch out in terms of that next move. So, again, double top. We've got cap fill above. Can we close that gap? Very hard, folks. Very hard at this juncture. Okay. So, like I said, we're looking for reversal and looking for risk aversion here. Okay. In terms of the FTSE 100, again, I'm not keeping an eye on this inverted head and shoulders formation. The FTSE looking for it to reverse back down to 7208, possibly even lower. So all eyes on this IHS at the moment for me, uh, taking the pivot low at 7190, take it to this neckline here, looking at a reversal back down to 7205, 7200, and that certainly will be a buy zone for me. And the next potential move looks like it's going to be lower, potentially even retesting 7190. Again, that will be another buy zone for me. In terms of the daily chart, the FTSE 100, ever since we've got to 7300, we've been rejecting, 7290 rejecting, previous support equals resistance rejecting as well. Okay, so the uh, the movement certainly has been lower. 60 minute chart, we're certainly defending that 7200 level. Okay, we've hit pivot lower 7190 this morning. If we do continue to crack, then you are looking at 7165. Looking at this uh, chart here, I mean, one could argue that you've got a bear flag formation even lower. So again, just keep your uh, your potential uh, outlook or potential next movement open. Uh, bias certainly remains needs to remain neutral there. Okay, that's the status quo in terms of the FTSE 100. Moving on to the Euro stocks, last but not uh, least, uh, Euro stocks certainly into resistance at this juncture. You've got gap fill above at 3430. Again, looking for resistance here, looking to flush down to 3410, back down to 3400. Euro stocks certainly remains weak with that gap fill at 3390. That's the status quo there. Okay, folks, I think that's a good wrap. Be sure to visit Trade Signal, signal the market updates from leading providers, and be sure to take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.